opportunity to make your dreams come true starts tonight as the Stanley Cup playoffs get underway. to capitalize here on the power play. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Here's a feed in front, and that's stopped. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Nizhny Novgorod's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Broken up by Volkov. Gets it out of his own end. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The Panthers have been served up with a two-minute penalty for charging. The Tornadoes roll out their man advantage unit and they've got lots of time with this five on three. What an opportunity, a long five on three here and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Lariano. Pass back to the point. Nizhny Novgorod's got the puck against the half wall. And yeah, they're going to be short-handed once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. Nizhny Novgorod's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. Five on three. You know your opponent has big bodies with long sticks in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to move them. How do you do that? You either shoot the puck, or you move it. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. For point Scores! It's in! It's in the back of the net. I think he put it in on his own. Oh, he did, James. I, I don't think he knew where that puck was. That's a frustrating goal as he puts it himself. There it is, James, the first goal of this playoff series, and everyone wanted that one. You want to play with the lead, and you certainly want to dictate it. Nizhny Novgorod's taken a one-goal lead here in the back half of period number one. Well, you can certainly tell that they came ready to play right from the onset of this game. It's been a tight game. They've stayed the course here. They competed for every puck, and they found ways to get it through to the net, James. I love the way that they're... He's got a little jump. Passing cross. There is it for the goal. He's in on a breakaway, and some guys know exactly what they want to do, and some guys take what's given. But what a shot that is. He had no chance. Nizhny Novgorod's on a mission tonight. Boy, do they look dialed in. They look dialed in, and they look fast. There's so much motion. Everyone is moving, and when they're moving, they're disrupting coverage and giving themselves lots of looks at the net. And they've been rewarded with a couple goals. Now he's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. 
takes control of the puck. Goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Panthers will serve two minutes in the box. This. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Turns up on the Oh, what a little stick hook on the play. He comes up with the puck. The Tornadoes are getting two minutes for tripping. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. you got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that. Not good enough. Big time stop! Huska is aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time. They'll look, be looking for those same openings. Moves the puck to the attacking area. The Panthers will play it in their own end. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Larionov. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Tornadoes are being called for tripping. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Picked up along the wall by Greco. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Huska. Takes a shot. Blocked in traffic. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Takes the puck, but still hangs on to the puck. Rush has got possession here in the offensive zone. Impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. And the hand is up. 
Moves the puck into the attacking area. Fans desperately calling for a shot before the buzzer. Takes a shot. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. things should open up here with a little four-on-four four on the ice. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. Rush has got it, and they're on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Preco. Hammers a shot. Denies him on the one timer. Oh, what reaction. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. Tremendous cycle we're coming. Scooped up by the D. Scores. And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James. And the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player make a difference and he does tonight so much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines James and with only one player in front you might lose it for a second but if you out battle and out will the person in front you're gonna find it unfortunately this puck it beats him clean the Panthers have come to life here in the second Cheryl what's your assessment now well, I've liked the way they have played they've had a ton of possession they're just sticking with the game plan and they get rewarded with that goal moves it to Bracco Flashes the leather. Huska has been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, give him a real opportunity to win. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the puck. All alone! Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Shot! Denies him in close. Now he's moving the puck through his own zone. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Here's a chance. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Nizhny Novgorod's now taking a two-goal lead here in the second. Well, that's a huge goal. That's going to give him a two-goal cushion. You can see the excitement on the bench right now. That's all it takes to have an impact. They put it in the net. Now they can take a deep breath and go play with creativity. Lynch has got it along the wing. Oh, scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. It's his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. The pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. Nizhny Novgorod's having a night. As some kids might say, Cheryl, they're balling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dominant. And when it feels effortless, you don't want it to stop. And they've got an intermission looming, and you know they want to stay on the ice. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire.
attack, great pressure by Lynch. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Tornadoes have been fantastic through 40 minutes of play, James. They've been good on both sides of the puck. They've gotten themselves a comfortable lead. Now it's about protecting it. You still want to push when you have the puck, but you have to be in good spots to protect defensively. Nizmi Novgorod's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. James, I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And he takes the pass. Here's the chance on the attack. With the stop. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Nice poke check. Lee's going to play it from the back of the cage. And it's a quick pass to Young. That's gloved by Bertine. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Moves inside! Oh, what a save on the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. He's in the middle! And he denies that great opportunity there. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face-off. Won the draw there on the attack. Here's a short pass to Donchar. The tornado scoop it up along the boards. Big time stop by Burden. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the free square with the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. They've got a two-on-one. Now plus the line. And it's going to hold up here. Final hold and we are all done with this one. Well, that's how you want to kick off a playoff series by taking that opening win and get that momentum on your side. Well, you know, heading into the series, this is the exact game that they've been talking about that they wanted to come out on top on. It's really important to dictate play right from the onset of the series. You really want to send the message that you're here, you're here to play, and you're here to stay. Well, the game might be done, but these playoffs are far from over. We've got more playoff intensity just around the corner. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Good night, and we'll see you next time.